There are places that I knew I wanted to visit when I started my YouTube channel and visiting cemeteries. One of those top locations on that list is where we are today. I have finally made it to Springfield, Illinois to the Oak Ridge Cemetery to visit the tomb and final resting place of the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. And not only are we here to see the tomb and pay our respects to Lincoln, we are actually going to walk through it together. I'm so glad that you all are along with me on my first trip to Lincoln's tomb. Let's start by looking at some of the history of the tomb and how it came to be. When Abraham Lincoln passed away, it did not take long for the citizens of Springfield to jump into action. A group of citizens would come together to form the National Lincoln Monument Association, and this group would start fundraising efforts to build a tomb befitting of their native son. And although Lincoln was born in Kentucky and spent his childhood in Indiana, this land was where Lincoln became the historical figure that we still read about to this day. After his assassination, Lincoln's body would be loaded onto a funeral train and make its way to this city. Abraham Lincoln's body would lie in state at the Illinois State Capitol for one night. He would have a funeral and burial service the next day, and he would be placed in a receiving vault in this cemetery, not too far from where we are. Of course, the structure would take years to complete. After three years of construction, the tomb was built up enough for Lincoln's body to be placed in it, and this happened in 1871. The bodies of his youngest three sons would also be placed in the structure as well. And although Lincoln's body would be in this tomb, it would move around a bit for several years. Lincoln's final resting place was not so final. As a matter of fact, his original final resting place was directly underneath the sarcophagus that is used now in the burial room. However, a failed attempt to steal his body and hold it for ransom caused it to be hid in another part of the tomb, and it was moved yet again during a restoration. Lincoln's son, Robert Todd Lincoln, whose grave I visited in my Arlington video, would request his father's grave be moved to a vault 10 feet below the burial room where it remains to this day. In 1931, Abraham Lincoln's tomb would be rededicated by President Herbert Hoover, and it looks very much now like it did on that day. Abraham Lincoln is a figure that we learn about and are still taught about today, and for good reason. He was born in my home state in Kentucky, and he was born poor and in poverty. His story is a true underdog story for the ages. He would grow up to become a lawyer, and more amazingly, he was largely self-educated. That drive and that thirst to grow would show up throughout his entire life. He would be a state legislator and would serve in the U.S. Congress. While back in Illinois, serving as a successful lawyer, he became angered at the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which would expand slavery into new territory. It was then that he would jump back into politics. And the new anti-slavery Republican Party would anoint Lincoln a leader. He would campaign for Illinois Senate in 1858 against Stephen Douglas. Their debates would captivate a nation, and their stances were far apart on the issues. In 1860, Lincoln would run for president. If there would ever be a more pivotal time in this nation's history, you'd be hard-pressed to find it. Lincoln, a moderate Republican, would draw the ire of the pro-slavery South who viewed him as a threat. Because he was viewed as a threat to slavery and pro-state sentiment, the southern states began leaving the nation, forming the Confederacy, and only one month into his term, the Confederacy attacked Fort Sumter. Lincoln would be left to try to put together the fractured nation, and he was successful in doing so. He would never live to see that fractured nation heal. He would be assassinated at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. in 1865 by Confederate sympathizer John Wilkes Booth. 
Lincoln and Lincoln's tomb hold such historical significance, if you really study his life, you can see why. I can't even imagine what it would have been like to try the monumental task of putting an entire nation back together. Principles that Lincoln instilled in this young nation are still felt and still in place today. We can still see them. I can't describe what an honor it is to visit his tomb today. Lincoln's tomb. What more can I say? It is a true piece of American history. I have more videos and cemetery visits in my archives, including more presidential grave sites. I hope you all check them out. Once again, from Springfield, Illinois, at the tomb of Abraham Lincoln in Oak Ridge Cemetery, I will see you again soon.